another one. He knows it all. I'm doing all right, the best that I can. That's unusual. Just another funny name, girl. I'm trying to get from the night. Step by step, one by one. I go and I go. Step by step, one. Oh. So, welcome back. Welcome back. And probably not necessarily the album, you know, if you were talking about albums that you grew up with, not necessarily <laughs> Huey Lewis and the News 4 wouldn't immediately come to mind. But as soon as Pete and I saw this in the record shop, we were both like, "Yeah, yes. It's such a big part of my childhood as well. I think this was a great example of, again, that classic American rock, six-piece band, great singer. Great singers. Great singer. The BVs on this album, we'll hear later, is incredible. Songs. Not as big a selling as... And then, I mean, the, the construction of the song, I mean, the guitar player, fantastic. So guitar player on here, again, probably going to put him in a similar bracket to the kind of Keith Scott thing from the previous episode we did on, on Brian Adams. Yeah. As name, Chris, Chris Hayes. Hayes. So not necessarily the, the best known guitar player that there ever was. Stylistically, again, Great tone, great note choice, great chords, not playing anything a million miles an hour. Probably this he band... He can, though. He's a bit more... Is thing he? In, he's, he... Oh, yeah, a he plays bit more jazzy. Yeah. So this was their fourth album. Presumably four. the reason why it's called Four, even though it's spelt <laughs> differently. Um, went, tri four. went triple platinum. So... Oh. Oh yeah, Did you okay. hear that, Nick? So that was a tasty lick at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. This is Jacob's Ladder, which was one of the hits off of this tune. Um, this album, I think, again, beautifully, beautifully arranged. Tower of Power provide the horns section. Yeah, which is just so you got these, and again, that's that for me is those slightly bigger. If I think of when you used to listen to like the Blues Brothers type band, you know, where again, it was a, it was a good rock band with a crazy good horn section. Makes such a difference. Uh, we've got that. We've got that, yeah. So, okay. Um, Stuck With You was probably, well, no, I know Hip To Be Square was the big one, wasn't it? But yeah. Stuck With You was I a big I think how I got tune. into it was watching Back To The Future. And what was the song? Because I don't think it was Hip To Be Square, was it? Was it... But well, I'm not know. sure if it was on, on was this it even album, off this album? I, think, I think I said that. At so some this other was point, 1986, but... so isn't that after yeah. Back to the Future? Uh, it was I one think... before. I need to look that up because <laughs> that was definitely one of the reasons. Uh, soundtrack, let's just have a look. That was definitely one of the reasons. Well, it was one of the reasons a lot of people play guitar, right? Marty McFly. Surely. That's... Oh, you mean this film was why no, but, people play yeah, guitar? Yeah, but there was, there was a song in there. Yeah, the power of love. Of course. Of course. I don't know. Do you remember there was a time in the 80s yeah. where there were about three bands had a massive hit with a song the called Power, power of Love. So you, love. Had, you had but these guys, you had Frankie Goes to Hollywood, and you had the, uh, yeah. wo the woman <laughs> that had the massive... The power. Yeah. Uh, the power of love. Yeah, there was a lot of power Who of love going that? on. Oh. Yeah. So that was not on that, that, that was. was not on that album here. Well, that, so It is. 
Oh, is it? It yeah, is. It on is the on album. this album. Come so on. that's why. Play the second song. Yeah. So, Play, so there's lots and lots of big hits off of this, I this mean, album. We, there was a lot of jokes going on. Stuck stuck with you. We call it stuck in you as well. <laughs> so if you, if you change with in the song to in, you have a little listen to what that sounds like. <laughs> so cocktail. You know, you want a cocktail. It's a happy tune. Yeah, a happy tune. But listen... Just listen to the, the guitars and the arrangement. We've had some fun. Yes, we've had our ups and downs. Brilliant. Down that rocky road. <laughs> here we are still around. We thought about someone else. Oh, whoops. Either I just went like that. Hold on, sing that. Here we go. Yeah. Great vocals. Half time. Oh, yeah. The guitar, man. A bit of Beach Boys kind of BBs, great yeah. BBs. Stuck in you. <laughs> Check you the guitar are, out. There's guitar right. parts. They're did, did, did. much more complicated, aren't they? The guitar this parts. Is, yeah. I take it all back. It's much more. The, the constructions of the song, in my yeah. opinion, is much more complicated. So on the breaks, Brian Adams songs, you're ty typically you were talking three or four chords made up the the whole structure yeah. of the song. Yeah. This the guitar players playing much more of those. Almost those gospel changes where he's playing yeah. multiple chords to go from one to the section to the next. But listen player. to the BBs. I don't even. Here. Do you know what? I'm gonna just. I'm, I'm. I should just look this up. But the only guy I actually know which one he is is Huey Lewis. I, I don't know which one the guitar player is. I think it's him. Is it? Yeah. Can you tell doesn't from his fingers? It, doesn't it say on the, on the album? So oh, it tells you what his name is, but it doesn't tell me which one he is in this yes, song. Yes, it's true. Yes, it's true. I think that's a guitar solo in this, isn't it? I'm so happy to be stuck with you. Cause I can see. I can see. That you're happy to be stuck in me. Oh, yeah. Put the door bars up. It's, it's the guy in the middle oh, in the beige the, jacket ah. and there is a tremendous picture of him it's so 80s i could see you rocking that pete can you holy yeah i actually there's <laughs> I need a to just show of, this to camera here there's pictures of me there is pictures of me playing guitar. What in, is in that Steve guitar Lake's as well? He's got, I mean, there are pictures of him with a Strat, but he's got a lot of unusual, like pointy headstock kind of guitars. No, it's all 80s. Floyd isn't it? Roses yeah. and all sorts. Let's go to the anyway. next one. Okay. Whole next lot of song. loving. Oh. Oh. Great vocal Tiny band. Girly, tiny girly magazines. I remember what it's like. Stop dreaming. Get back home to the real thing. This is great. Half tower time again. And then. <laughs> like slap back delay on it. Do you know Hugh Lewis plays harmonica like yeah. a demon on this? Listen to this. What? 
you know what? It's just good feeling vibe songs it's, that you can sing along to. Listen, I can remember all these lyrics. I've somehow, I know. they're all stuck in my head. It's much I more. Can, um, Listen, it. Tell me that you understand. I'll probably do the same with this. It's crazy. It's yeah, much more rock and roll, excuse me. isn't it? It's yeah. the most rock and roll album that we've had. No, actually not. There's the, some of the earlier Hugh Lewis is much more. Is it yeah, heavy? I'm the one with harmonica. Notice how the guitar spread thing, bang, yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah, it doesn't. There's another guitar player in the band, yeah. Johnny Collar, who's down as playing saxophone, guitar, and obviously they're all yeah. singing. So. You know the saxophone in this time, in this 80s, he would have like that and then big, oh, sh big. big sweaty muscles, tan, long hair in the back, oh, mullet. The full mullet. <laughs> Uh, come on, let's play the next song. Yeah, what's next the next one? Is called is "Doing It All for My Baby." Oh, that's, that's a good guitar thing. solo. solo Th this, on this reminds one. me. Of, do you remember when? What was the Bruce Willis um, thing that he was in with Sybil Shepherd? Moonlighting. Moonlighting. All of this songs just remind me of that kind of classic '80s. You know, Bruce Willis has got two albums out as well. Has he? Yeah, yeah. I know, anyway, yeah, I do remember. We did under the boardwalk. Didn't yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> now listen here again. Three times around at the end, and then a proper blues ending here. Oh, five times right. Oh, yes. That's proper Doing rock and roll. It. Or the tempo. This is a great tune. <laughs> so that's Tower Power. We're still in bed. She comes to me with sweet affection. Give me with kisses. Hello, sleepy head. <laughs> yes, man. Let's be over in another nature. Nice. Right. So you, people ask where you get all your chords from, Peter. Or stuff you play. This stuff like this. This is stuff this, like this, this, isn't this, it? This, this, that chord. <laughs> so okay. this is like. No, come on. No, we need to listen. There's a guitar song. solo in this one. Oh, okay. The next song is probably my favourite one. Upon my weary shoulder, snuggle up and say. I can't believe you know all the words. These are these are the these are the chords here. This is over. I do my best to give the love. It's just two bucks. You know, like Here we go. Very clean. Built up, clean solo. It's got yeah. this stopping thing again yeah. on it, you know. And it's just, it's a pentatonic. What beautiful solo. I'm loving this. I'm loving going with some of these, not obscure albums, but where the band are more, are yeah. less well known. As in the doing members it, of the band are less doing well known. It, doing it, doing it, doing it, yeah. Do you want to do He looks it, like the youngest guy in this band it, as well. Ooh, yeah, great he looks gig. like a kid, doesn't he? Um, doing it. Next one. 
obviously. <laughs> obviously, is it? Let's this have is it. the big one. Doing it! Or it was my Doing favourite it. anyway. Oh, it's a cool little bit here. That's what I'm starting to, to, to back to, to back in a minute. Right, come on. Next one. Yes! Classic, man. So straight, though. It's right? great, man. Now, listen to the guitar. It's like... It's just... You know what? You know, most people think you play twice on the dot dot, but actually it's, you play one and then it's the, it's the, it's the yeah. boom, boom. I'm not kidding you. I think Oz is going to kill himself in the corner here. This couldn't get any more dad if Two it tried. Da dad's listening to dad albums. <laughs> I mean, everybody's he's turned so up already. Bored. But it's not, it's... This was a brilliant what song. What a song, man. It's all right, yeah. <laughs> it's all right, yeah. But, you know, it's, it's about building the song and the tracks up. And it's not, it's about what the inspiration it had on me, this, I can't tell you. It's crazy, man. Didn't this have a great music video to it as well? I vaguely remember. Back in the days where bands used to bother to do proper videos. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Come on, boys. Or is it a saxophone solo? That's it. Harmony. It's so weird, you Again. Burn it. Anyway. Oh, we don't have enough saxophone solos in songs anymore, I think, no, do we? You, yeah, I can only take so a many. certain amount. It has to be like this, otherwise, or Stan Getz. I can listen to some, some, I can listen to some jazz and stuff, but it's just, if it's too much of it, it's like, it's like anything, but, everything, anything of too much of a good thing, right? But I do think, I do think that the saxophone, a great saxophone player gets, the way they can do those slight note bends, with, yeah, yeah. you know, and, oh, yeah. and also add that little bit of dirt onto the tone yeah, yeah. and everything, just it's great. It's a, it's, I, I know some amazing saxophone players, but oh. I still get enough of it. It's a great riff, isn't it? Anyway, brilliant song, brilliant, brilliant song. Yeah. Uh, I'm not even sure I remember what the next one is. It's called I, I Know What I Like. I We're just basically playing the whole album yeah. here. Okay, so, next on, one. Next one. Next one. Okay. This is probably the one at least, but, but yeah. I, I can. I'd probably sing the song. Well, let's see. See if you can. Yeah. What's the first line? In fact, this is very you. The first line. I, I like. That's it, isn't it? Well, listen. Very clean. It's not dissimilar to some of those Brian Adams no. tones, it's, is it? It's cleaner. When things go best. <laughs> Don't ever last. Oh, this thing. is cheese. Oh. This literally yeah. has been written about you, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this is, this is. Is this? <laughs> I like that. Yeah. It was a good or bad. Like oh, we might skip this one, I think. When you're my hand. <laughs> this funny song. I know what I like! So does uh, Chuck Berry. He likes to he do does, that. Indeed. He indeed. Right, the dingling. next one? I think there's a solo in here as well, but I can't remember. This next one is called I Never Walk Alone. Oh, that's the Irish pop, isn't it? No, this is the Liverpool <laughs> song, isn't it? But probably not probably that not. version. It's better when it gets going. It's a bit Christmassy. 
Oh. Yeah. It's a, I don't know if you, you might not have heard that. Oz just said the bass line sounds like hip to be square. But, and it's not uncommon for you to get that on an album where a band comes up with a, exactly, a riff and like yeah. two or three songs come out of a very similar yeah. sounding. Oh, here we go. Listen, listen. Might not. goes to the minor chords and stuff. I the don't chords. remember this song. The next one yeah. is the another huge one. What's that? So this was the soundtrack, wasn't it? To um, yeah, or off the soundtrack oh, is that from the one? Uh, Back to the Future. Yeah, this is interesting. So the next track that is on the vinyl album is Power of Love, which obviously is awesome, but presumably for some sort of uh, rights reasons or whatever it's not on the itunes version no, that's weird isn't um it? which is weird so we are going to have to play but it's this. on here because it's on a different it's on the greatest hits album that's a bit weird okay i mean this is that's a hit as well isn't it was a hit i love the crackle <laughs> <laughs> same same, 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 same it's the same progression yeah. isn't it yeah I, lo I like how they just had a, uh, had a cold, cold beverage and go. <sighs> He's got such a good voice. Yeah. Listen to how simple the guitar is on this double stop. He lets the. It's interesting this band, isn't it? Because he lets. He lets the bass player play the sort of the the, the sort of um, the driving melody behind yeah. the song, if you like, and all the guitar parts are sort of this sort of funky embellishment over the yeah, top. Yeah, I'll tell you what he's me. trying to do. He's trying to be a part of the rhythm section. Yeah, which I, you know I did hear again going back to this. Uh, is there a guitar? Podcast. Is there this? There's there's another guitar part yeah. playing the. It's chords. Or is it? Can they power from chords. a keyboard. That's that. Yeah. Yeah. It's very cool. It's just like... All just like, double stop type. Yeah. It's, it's like that, isn't it? Was, it? That was a, funnily enough, that Matteo Sassato uh, interview I was talking about with um, Rick Beato, he, yeah. that's his things. He, he says he likes to... He likes to play, uh, you know, a single note harmony, as in two on notes. On a lot of stuff, yeah. Yeah, on all the runs. Yeah. And it's just like another, I'm, you know, again, I'm, do, I'm loving this series just because, I, again, it's although I remember the album, isn't it? loving this album, all is love I, never, I never remember breaking it down or thinking who were the musicians. I just loved it for the music, where it's fun to revisit and sort of really see how each different band's got their own style. This is such a good tune. And with a little help from above, you feel the I haven't played this for years, man. This had a good solo in it. Yeah. Again, pretty clean from memory. Yeah. I'll tell you what. It's got a bit of Stevie Ray about it. Keep going. It's Stevie Ray. It's um, what's the what's the um, Let's Dance? It's exa that's exactly what it is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Which actually, again, Let's Dance, if we see that on vinyl, I'm buying that. I know, again, this is my sort of, my uh, David Bowie kind of, what's the, I, I, I'm the fan that I think he never really liked as my favourite 
album was the one that he felt he'd kind of sold yeah, out yeah, on. Yeah, and yeah, it was yeah. never one, never the one that he ever really liked to talk about. But but the Stevie Ray solo in Let's Dance is like, oh yeah. lord. Anyway, right. So uh, three more tracks. Yeah. Forest for the trees. I'll be honest with you. I vaguely remember let's, simple um, as that, but I don't remember this tune. Let's go. Uh, forest for the trees. I even remember this one. <laughs> this is another. I didn't even remember the key. This is another uh, Top Gun song. Yeah. But like, I sort of more like as the credits are rolling in Top Gun. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, know, no, it's not. Yeah. Again, it's like. His voice is great. The forest for the trees. Forest for the... I'm not a big fan of this song. No. It's, 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 but this, this bit I like. When you get angry, yeah. and everything's go That's that little picking. What's that? This, this chord thing, this is literally straight off the Brian Adams album that we just, what was the song that's going, yeah, 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 oh, listen to the harmonies here, uh, I love it. Great what is it? Yeah, but well, you hear the next song. Naturally, naturally. Is the next song. Okay, so naturally, the next song. This is where it really shines. I don't know if there's a guitar solo in this. Okay, this next song is just um, a cappella. Oh, yeah. Great sound. It's so. There goes Tom Cruise, no helmet on his motorcycle. On his motorcycle. Yeah. Dark down the highway into yeah. the distance. Into the... He's a great guitar player, yeah. this guy. He's a really, really wonderful, accomplished yeah. guitar player. All right, so next one here. Oh, I love this. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, a bit of a cappella. Oh. Listen to this. Wow. Imagine seeing this live. And the flowers in the gloom just refuse to bloom. This is another film track, isn't it? I don't it sounds like a Disney film of yeah. some sort. <laughs> you see, oh, naturally. This is a guy's brilliant. These guys are musicians, man. They're like top. I wonder how many of our core audience is still watching. Oh, no, they're, they're, none of them. Have, uh, but it's just. I love this. It's my favorite track so far. Really? It's such a Disney soundtrack, this. So it's up to me and you to do what we gotta do to keep our love. Come on. Now the bees have been gone. It's almost like that uh, that rolling keyboard. Yeah, but ow. <laughs> I want Jack to do that on the, on the keyboard channel. Copy this. I mean, it's fantastic, isn't it? Now, but isn't it? They place that well and just go, let's put our instruments down and let's all sing. No, do you think no they've done this just with, the voices. Do you think they've got a guide in their ears? They just got one, two, three, four. Because if they haven't, it's just like insane well, level, isn't it? And we had times we did that when we were like 16, 17. We would do, we would sing harm, like, like this, you know. Just to, just to learn it, because it's, to singing BVs is such a special thing to be able to do that playing at the same time. Okay. <sighs> So the last, last one, song, is it? Simple as that. Okay, this song hits home, man. Does it? Because this, if you read the lyrics, I will. It's all about oh, okay. beginning and the end, and the yeah. kids move out, 
and you know the money and all that oh, stuff yeah? and money goes so fast it ain't funny uh, you know and then it's just you and me and the dog and the cat and it's as simple as that there's all that kind of lyrics in it well let's listen so, to it let's have a listen to Cause... it <laughs> This is more 70s. Yeah, it's our power, isn't it? I tell you. Go to work. Listen. Work hard all day. At the end of the week, you collect your pay. That's just where it's at. Oh, that's got a bit of Steely Dan. Yeah. It's the simple as that. What a tune. I tell you what, so. Jimmy Hendrix. Cost sure hurts a family man. I tell you, this when you're 18 or 17 or maybe even mid 20s or if you're, you're like a kid and not married, you don't know this does you, you don't this doesn't get you. But if you're then, but listen. Pause again. Wow. You might went up to get that house on the hill. But you just don't know if you ever win. But you can't get the cash. <laughs> I love this. It's as simple as that. Love this. It's all right. Tit for a tat. I love the chorus, man. I love the this bit. Yeah. Ooh, and the money goes so fast. It ain't funny. It ain't funny. No, no. Christmas special or something. <laughs> yeah. It is, isn't it? Squid it, it, it. I think I got the last one, right? Like Oh, you know it. The kids are all grown. <laughs> Mary Love. <laughs> this is brilliant, isn't it? Oh, depressing. Yeah. And it's brilliant. You reach the autumn. You reach the autumn of your life. <laughs> and all that's left is you and your wife. <laughs> and the dog and the cat. <laughs> uh, but the court, the court, the court, and this bit in the end. I love it, man. Listen to this. Make voice here. And again, let's go around one more time. Is there a key change? Can we go up a key or not? No, 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 no. no. Same key. It's before. I thought it was going to go a it's bit. It's before boy um, band. Isn't it? Yeah, I thought it was going to go a bit. So, but here you go. Westlife. Oh, it could have done a key change there. I bet live they did a key change. <laughs> well, and you have to remember this is all recorded on amp tracks or amp what is it amp track tapes. So when you did it, that's it. You had to do it, right? It's amazing, you know. I mean, that song at the end again, like like the Brian Adams one, the last song on the album just goes. You take that. That's this is gonna hit home, you know. But well, you don't get that till you've got kids and a mortgage, right? So there we and are. And you get it, and you like crying, um, going, Did I do this right? Of our uh, 
random not part four. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very what much for album. watching. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, like and subscribe. There's more coming soon. Yeah. See you next time.